friends, it's Alison Okamitsu here from NicePeopleStamp.com. Welcome to my channel. I'm happy you're here today. I am excited to stamp with you. In today's video, I'm going to use the brand new Free as a Bird bundle from Stampin' Up. So this is a stamp set and die bundle that is featured in the new Stampin' Up annual catalog. So I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator in Canada, and if you're in Canada, you can buy anything that I use in my videos in my online store, which is shopnicepeoplestamp.com. So today's video is a little bit different because I want to share something else really exciting with you about the Free as a Bird bundle. So I have two really fun things going on right now that feature this bundle. Number one is my fabulous online class. I am so excited about this class. It filled up, it's filling up so, so quickly. It was over half full in a day. So I know that everyone is wanting this bundle and why not get that online class with it as well. So I have the details to that linked in our video description today. And then I also wanted to share with you the tutorial bundle that's available right now through me. So the tutorial bundle has 12 gorgeous tutorials featuring products from the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog and my project features the free as a bird bundle. You're gonna love it. I can't wait to stamp with it and I'm so excited about today's card. So let's get started. All right, so here's that free as a bird bundle. It says stamp set and die set. And this set of dies is so awesome. It creates a stitched edge on both the piece you're die cutting and the piece you're cutting it out of. It's very cool and we're gonna use those on today's project. Not only that, this set is just beautiful. I've used it already an absolute ton. I'm totally loving it, and I'm excited to show you the card that I have for you today. So let's move this aside and get stamping. I want to show you my cardstock sizes first, so if you'd like to follow along, you can. I've got a thick piece of Whisper White cardstock here. This is for my card base. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and that's my card base. I also have another piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. This one is three and a quarter by five inches. And another piece of my thick Whisper White. This is three and three quarters by a half. And then I have just a scrap here. And then I also have the beautiful Petal Pink, which is four inches by five and a quarter. In today's video, I'm going to use a selection of the Stampin' Blends. So I have my old olive combo, which is light and dark, my petal pink combo, the pool party combo, and the light daffodil delight. I'm also going to use the tuxedo black memento ink pad. All right, let's dive right in. All right, so on our piece of thick whisper white cardstock, I want to stamp my scene, if you will. So I'm going to start with my bird stamp. So. That's that bird that's in that beautiful free as a bird stamp set. And I'm just stamping that in my tuxedo black memento. And I'm gonna stamp it approximately in the middle. It's totally fine whether it ends up in the middle or off to the side. Then I have my little leaf and branch and I'm going to stamp that so it's kind of like the bird is on the branch and then stamp another one sort of beside, just like that. It's okay if you overlap a little. We're going to do some coloring to kind of hide that overlap. Then I have my small blossom and I'm going to tuck one in here just down by the branches. And then let's tuck another one up here to sort of in with those leaves. All right, so let's put that aside to dry. We can take our little scrap of the Thick Whisper White and let's stamp one of the larger flowers so we'll just stamp that down. And then our long piece of Whisper White, we're going to stamp the words, thank you. And I wanna leave about I, a finger width. <laughs> is, that a, is that a measurement? So I'm leaving about a finger width on the one side, okay? All right, so we can set these things aside to dry while I die cut using those fabulous dies. So we are going to use the second largest die, which is this one right here. And we're going to die cut our petal pink cardstock. So let me just grab my die cutting machine. 
All right, so you can use a die cutting machine that works with the Stampin' Up! dies. Lots of the hand crank machines on the market will work for you, if not all. I just haven't tried them all. <laughs> all right, so we're going to place that onto our piece of petal pink. And we want to leave about an inch on the right hand side and then centered from top to bottom. So we're just going to roll that through our die cutting machine. There we go. And there we have, look at this. So this is what I was telling you before we have the stitched edge on not only the piece that we've die cut, but also the piece that it's been cut out from. So it's a really fun set because we can use both of these pieces. And today we're using this piece for our card. All right, so let's bring in those pieces that we'd like to color. I've got my Stampin' Blends, which are an alcohol-based marker. They're really easy to use, and I'm gonna give you a quick little tutorial, and then I'll carry on coloring. So I'm going to take my dark petal pink and do the center portion of my flower here, just like that. Nothing too fancy. And then I'll take my light petal pink and I will finish off the rest of the flower. But where the light and the dark marker meet, I'm just going to swirl circular motions to get those two colors to blend together. So you won't get those harsh marker lines when you do this. These are alcohol-based markers, so they will react with one another and mix together. It's just really fabulous. So we can create some fun shadowing and shading and we don't have those harsh marker lines. All right, so there's our big flower. I'm going to go and do the same with my small flowers and my leaves and I'll come back to explain how I'm going to do the bird. So there are my leaves and my flowers colored. I just wanted to point out there are a couple of spots where I went outside the lines. So I'm just going to take my color lifter and we can use this to sort of bleach out, if you will, those spots where I've gone outside the lines. It won't, res it won't um, get rid of all my coloring sins, but it certainly makes it look a lot better Every owner of the Stampin' Blends should have a color lifter because it really does save you from having to start over. So it's still not dry, but you can see that I've really alleviated where I colored outside the lines there. So now to color my bird, I'm going to take my light daffodil delight and just color in the beak. And then for the shading on the bird itself, I want to take my dark pool party and I'll just go where there is these lines on the bird. It's really easy because Stampin' Up! has made this stamp set in such a way that they really guide us for where we need to put our darker colors because they put those lines right in there for us. All right, so now I can go in with my light pool party and fill in and also remember we don't want those harsh marker lines so we're going to swirl where our dark marker and our light marker meet so we can get those two inks to interact with each other and have some shading but not those harsh lines so i'm going to carry on bird and my branch and my flowers all colored in with the gorgeous Stampin' Blends. We've got some nice shading and our little bird just looks so happy perched on that gorgeous branch with all those flowers. So we can start assembling our card. I've got this piece of the petal pink that I've die cut and we're going to have our bird kind of peeking out and I cut this piece bigger than my cutout because I wanted to be sure that I could kind of move it around and we can always give a trim to our cardstock that hangs off the edge with our paper snips to make sure our bird is sort of situated where we'd like. So 
So what I'm going to do is take my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm just going to add some around the outside. So this is just sort of the edge of the Dimensionals. And I'm just going to add some onto my cutout almost, it's like a little window, a window into our card. There we go. So let's get some along this side. There we go. You don't want to forget over here, down in the corner. And then let's get some up in this corner up here and down here. There we go. So now I'm going to remove the backings just off the ones that border my little window. And I'm going to position my window exactly how I'd like it on my card. I'm not going to worry if any of my white card stock is hanging off the edge, okay? See how it's poking out the top there? We're not gonna worry about that. We just wanna make sure that we have white showing through the whole window. Okay, so now I can take my paper snips and you don't have to be super accurate with this. You can just go in and sort of snip any excess that's hanging off the edge. There we go. Easy peasy. So we can take these dimensional backings off here and then let's add some snail to the back of the bird image. And we are going to place this on our card front we're just gonna center that just like that it's already coming together beautifully we have a few little pieces left to go so of course I have my beautiful big flower and I'm gonna just fussy cut that quickly you'll notice I turn my paper and not my scissors I do turn my scissors just a little bit but I have more control when I turn the paper rather than the scissors all right, so we're ready for the final touches. I'm going to put my thank you onto my card front. So I wanna put some dimensionals behind here and then some snail over on this side. So I've got my snail, I'll just put a little bit on there and then I'll put a couple dimensionals through that portion where the little window is. There we go. So I'll remove those backings and I want this piece to be right up against the edge of my petal pink cardstock. So just like that, okay? And then this beautiful flower, we're just gonna put one dimensional on the back side. Oops, there we go. And we'll add that right at the edge of our sentiment, just like that. And there is our beautiful card featuring the free as a bird bundle. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. I sure enjoyed stamping it with you. I hope you'll join my free as a bird online class and look into purchasing the tutorial of 12 awesome projects featuring items from the brand new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. And of course, my project features that free as a bird bundle. So it's a great resource to have. All the information for the online class and the bundle and where you can shop is in the video description. Thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a crafty video, and I'll be back to stamp with you again soon. Bye.